Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Black Health and Wealth Show, the number one show on YouTube, according to my mother and father, and my parents can't be wrong. I'm your host, Kevin Boyette, and today I really need your feedback. I'm not sure how many of you are aware that the comedian Earthquake has a daily show that airs on Sirius XM Radio. Now, Earthquake maintains a diverse demographic of today's top comedians on the show to discuss a variety of topics. I mean, he has folks on there like the First Lady of Quake's House, my friend Hope Flood, other comedians you may have heard of include uh, Wanda White, Alicia Cooper, Dominique Witten, Tanya Strada, Shang Ford, Evan Lionel, Sebastian Satina, Honest John, Robbie Barone, Steve Wilson, Lawrence Owens, Jamal Dolman, Kwame Siegel, not to mention his producer paper. But enough of the promo. Let's get to the point of this video. On July 21st of this year, Quake has something very heavy on his heart that he decided to share with his listeners in regards to the killing of major cities around the world. I want you all to take a listen and let me know what you think in the comments section. Now, I'm going to warn you in advance that there are some words that you may be uncomfortable with. I ask that you overlook those words and pay attention to the message. In other words, chew the meat and spit out the fat. So without further ado, let's take a listen and don't forget to subscribe, like, and share after you leave your thoughts in the comment section. Peace and love, beautiful people. You know, pray, got to pray. And as we say and pray, black people, we got to do something, man. Listen, I'm all for Black Lives Matter. I'm all for, I'm all for stopping the cops for what they're doing to us and everything. But we have a fucking threat among ourselves. We got to get rid of these knuckleheads we got around here, man. This killing is too is unacceptable. I'm tired of turning on Fox News and they keep on showing us kill ourselves. I'm tired of seeing and seeing and seeing. Now, I don't know what the fuck going on because I'm not still in the hood like that. But I lived in the hood. I'm from Southeast D.C. At least when I was growing up, we knew who the killers was. We knew who the killers was. You knew stay away from the killers. Because we knew who their occupation was. You didn't fuck with them, and they ain't fuck with us. If they show them, the hustlers had some what we call integrity. If they seen you had anything going for you, nah, young, you don't even want to be over here. Don't fuck with this. Take a little money right here. Go to the candy lady, get you something to eat, stay in school. Them niggas did not want this for you. I do not, still don't understand how all of a sudden in our community, killing a brother is the first option. It's the first option. When I was growing up, nigga, that was the last option. Mm. You tried mm. anything else. You understand? Whooped his ass. Like, nigga, I'm telling you, nigga, you got one more time, and I'm going to really fuck you up to your family going to have a meeting next week at the church. Mm. They, it was just, it was a, it was a, a build up to that. Now, this is the finale. I mean, no matter what a motherfucker do to you, I I want to kill you. And then you know what you do. You're not just killing that individual. You're killing all the people that love them, that support them, yeah. that had them. What did this black man do to you that his family doesn't need to see him no more? His children don't need to see him no more. Everything he would had need to be taken away from him. Everything he promised to have in the future need to be taken away from him. Are you that insecure and fragile as an individual that you must vent that kind of punishment on anybody for something that they did to you without going through another option. I mean, at some point, we're going to have to sit here and make a, a, a strong motherfucking assessment. Are we going to address this shit the same way we address police violence on us? Are we going to start taking on the same shit that we have to do that this is not going to be tolerated? Our babies are dying. I'm from Washington, D.C. We lost a six-year-old. Mm. Chicago, more motherfuckers died this weekend, man, than in, 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 in Afghanistan. No. Yes. Oh, oh my shit. God. Gunfire. Gunfire. They like Damn. 60. What was it? 61 shot. 10 dead. Damn. Hey, hey, yeah, the motherfuckers are doing World War II numbers in that motherfucker. When them, you see the motherfuckers ran up on the beaches and shit, that's Chicago. Them niggas are running like that, getting killed, man. At some point, we going to have to say we ain't tolerate, and everybody know in our community who's doing it. 
everybody knows who's doing it. Yep. But no one wants to snitch. No, but if that was a cop, you would snitch. What well, facts? If that was a white man, you would snitch. If that was a, tr- a Trump supporter, you would snitch. That's why I said, why is our kids only valuable when someone else is killing? Wow. Damn. When we're going to show that same energy when someone else killed one of our kids that we ready to tell, saying, up, why is it acceptable? Because I'm telling you right now, as a father, and I'm telling you to speak for a lot of mothers, the pain is no less Oof. that their baby is killed by Jerome. Facts. It's been Officer pain. Johnson. Yeah, absolutely right. Oh, man. The pain is no oh. easier because mm. it was man man did it mm. <laughs> instead of the motherfucking police department from Minneapolis. Mm. So at some point, we as a community going to have to understand how we're going to have this, what yeah. we're going to tolerate, how we're going to say, hey, man, this is enough. Personally speaking, I don't even understand how anybody that lives, I don't know which respects neighborhood is so violent in fucking uh, Chicago and the rest of them, but I had to get the fuck up out of there. You know, yeah. I, I, listen. I'm sorry, quick, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, man. I had to get the fuck out of there, Rodney. I no, know man. that's your hometown. No, I, I know I'm, that. I'm, I'm completely, I was so disillusioned, man. I, I was just home not long ago. And, you know, my friends like, where are you going? You you don't just be going out. You know, just, I'm like, I'm like you, are you serious? It was, it was, it was gunplay on the highway. And people got shot while they was driving on the highway. That's and so it, it, it's really becoming a place that don't even look familiar to me. You know, I know Grady can speak to it as well, man. It's, it's like, I remember Chicago changing and um, and, you know, when I, I grew up on 126th state, which is called the wild, wild hundreds, but it wasn't the wild, wild hundreds. It was, it was almost the suburbs when I grew up there. So our city has changed over the last three decades, man. And uh, I mean, it's, it's some real economic things that, that go into play with that. But uh, but I mean, it, it's it's. It's what you're saying, but it's, I think it's deeper than on, that on several levels. But that, that, that ain't why we're here. We, no, we had to be no, funny. No, I'm, I'll, I'm I'll tell you what it is. It. I, I, I'll, I'll tell you what it is. What is, is it? it? Please educate me. The old, put it like this. The OGs, you guys, right? Quake, Rodney. So if you guys are street dudes, yeah? So the police say, okay, well, let's take the heads off. The streets, right? Being a member of it. You know what I mean? When I was an adolescent, the old heads were taken. You just couldn't do whatever you want to do just because you didn't get into it with them. Because you guys are the chief. So you're the chief, and you talk to that chief. Problem solved. And let them air it out with themselves. And that's it. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. once that happened, and then on top of that, as far as the snitching, snitching isn't neighbors telling who got shot. Mm-hmm. Snitches. On the snitching part only pertains to street niggas, drug dealers, gangbangers against themselves. Yes. So that means me and Rodney do a crime, me, Rodney Quake, and re do a do a crime, then I tell that's snitching. But somebody that's a neighbor is like, I don't know. And he tells that's not snitching, that's a civilian. Okay. Just reporting what they saw. That's that's it. So people gotta really understand what snitching is. But not, a lot of times, the young kids, remember, Big said it itself on the album. They call in the city for help because they can't maintain. Damn shit done changed. He said that in 93. So it was already going to happen anyway. You know what I'm saying? So once they took all the chiefs off the street in Chicago, the little boys, the nephews, raised themselves. So now that you guys get money, you guys don't go and try to talk to those that are listening. you like, fuck them all. And there's someone that's out here that, you know, needs to need daddy. You know, you got to have that yeah. OG person. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of it's kind of like not having daddy at home and the boys all, are just all that. Happy. Okay, it's so we that. so we need some male father figures out yes. there in Chicago. We need the, the yeah. brothers to come down, the Jay-Z's, the Puff Daddies, the Quays. Well, no, no, no. Damn. No, no, no. No? You got to be a pillar from the city. Oh. Rodney Perry is a pillar from Chicago. Grady's a pillar from Chicago. The Corey's. Deion Cole, we the guys that was like, hey, we came up in it. Now let's go back and say, hey, fix this. The ones that's willing to listen. Okay. The ones that's willing to listen. 
And how many that's you feel crazy. that's one and really, really want to listen, Grady? And then I got to go ahead and start the show. Huh? How many? How many? I don't know the solution. I, no, I don't. Hey, brother, I'm not that dude. I'm not that dude, dog. I'm not that dude. Don't get it. But what I am saying, just as it's important to me what happened to George Floyd, uh-huh. it breaks my heart more when it happens by our own. You understand what I'm saying? I expect that from them. It's historically from them. This is not historic, bro. No. Our people did not kill each other like we're doing each other today. You understand what I'm saying? And I hear everybody saying what, but our ancestors had it a lot worse than we ever had, and they didn't turn on each other. True. We have more opportunities than they ever had. Ain't nobody coming through with no white sheet, grabbing you out your motherfucking house, holding you up, stringing your ass up, fucking your wife in front of you, making you work out. Our ancestors went through some shit, Slim, and they never took the anger and the viciousness that was coming from these other people, the others, and turned it on each other. So when I hear motherfuckers saying this and that, the economical situation, you came from an economical situation where you did not have, a, you was a negative because you wasn't even recognized who you were and every dollar you got went to somebody else. Gee shit. You was over here working for somebody else for making them a fucking boss. You was working for somebody else making their family generational work. That's what our ancestors were. And at no point did they come back and say, I'm going to choke the shit out of Rodney because I don't know it like the way he look at me. Mm. Well, you, you know, it's, it's, that's all that. At is some thing. point, it has to be some self responsibility, dog. At some point, we have to say, fuck what everybody, fuck the others. And I mean, yeah. oh, what are we okay. going to do for us? Yeah. You, I what think are we right. going to do for us? Fuck yeah. everybody else. Fuck we can look at the government. Fuck looking at the police. Fuck all of that. What we as a collective group of black people are going to do and say what we're not going to tolerate in our own motherfucking community. Yeah. Period. For my son, your son, everybody else's son, because all of them motherfuckers, you can raise your son as great as you want to. He got to look out for the police, and he got to look out for man, man. Oh, my God. He got to look for the setup chick. He might fall in love with it. The hate because he got money might say the wrong motherfucking thing and feel he needs to die somewhere. We need to set a fucking standard, nigga. Do whatever you want to do, but killing them is not tolerated. Wow. These, these, these gang kids, they like initiating each other by some, killing three people. Like, okay, I, I, you kill three people and then you're in the... But you know. Somewhere we all know in the ecosystem, they're getting accepted among the mainstream of us. They're still able to go to the party. Somewhere along the line, it is acceptable. Right. We know who they are and we still give them carte blanche. The hang, dap up, that's cool, that's it. We're not shunning them. We're not turning our back on them. We're not nothing on nothing on them, holding them no accountable in society, in our own society among us, a lot of black people. Glorifying it. <laughs> Accepting it's, it. He's the it. nigga at the, he get the big chicken at the cookout. <laughs> it's in the music. <laughs> he, the women looking at him. You understand? The music, nigga, was music like that. See, people say the music is this and there's that. Nigga, we had straight, our ancestors had straight example on brutality. That's true. To us, in front of us, you can bring your ass out here. Yeah. Who told you how to read? Who told you how to read? Who told you how to read? You see, our ancestors saw brutality at its highest level. So I'm tired say? of this whole uh, shit. How you say, thing? Grady? I'm tired of this uh, whole shit, niggas. Yeah. And sometimes this whole shit, and sometimes, because nobody want to talk like I'm saying right there, because then, nigga, that kills the party. Nobody. Oh, here you go with that again. But at some point, man, I am tired of turning on fucking Fox News, hearing the reason why our kids are dying out here, because we stood up and said we did not want police to brutalize us in the street. 
And now the police saying that's the reason for you saying that you said oh. defund the police and you're staying away from. So the police are just sitting back, not policing no more and just letting them kill themselves. Oh, OK. All right. Watch Fox News. They say it every day. They sitting here every motherfucking day and say, here you go. Look at them. And these the same people in these Democratic motherfucking cities that have been ruling for the longest and the longest and longest. And they're killing themselves. But they want us to defund the police. See, now the police say, huh, go down here and you make a, something, you make a uh, wrong motherfucking choice or something. Then we demonize everybody. Fuck them. Let them kill themselves. Well, you can't. I'm telling you, just because we ask for police to do their job now, they don't supposed to do their job at all. All right, this is Quake House, man. Uh, let me, uh, right now, when I come back, I'm going to introduce and let each one of the comedians introduce and let you know exactly who's occupying the crib. This is on my heart because I used to tell the joke a long time ago, and I mean it. Don't come marching down my street, say, let's march, and sit down here telling me no more what police or whatever white person did to one of us until you show that same energy when Man Man killed Tyrone. Mm. And I want that same energy we have for George Floyd with the same energy for all those young black pe- kids, kids, six year old, eight year old, nine year old who ain't even have a child. My kid got killed in Chicago. Was supposed to go to kindergarten, man. Oh. Kindergarten. Yeah. Where's the outrage? We supposed Five to be out there. Old. We supposed to be protesting out there. Five years old. We, the nigga, I remember nigga, somebody mm. supposed to be hit this nigga go, bring him to the police, knots all on his head and everything, and throw yeah. that motherfucker in there. Yes. Where's yes. the old fucker? Five years old. She yeah. was planning for kindergarten, nigga. She couldn't mm. wait. She had her backpack and everything. Go home. Mm. Hey. In Chicago, what? Ray, I tell you, sitting there, they just, I'm watching this shit on Fox News. This beautiful our child, your child, Rodney, yours, right? Mario, all ours gone. Check the fuck out. In five years, because these five niggas years. still can't handle their beef like men. You know who you mad at? Can we go to gun control, maybe? I ain't gun control. We need to no. go to goddamn nigga control. <laughs> That's what we need. Nigga control. <laughs> and then sometime we're going to have to say we're tired to rape these niggas without control. All right, this is Quake House. We'll be right back.